Hello, dear all. Glad to see you in my class again. Today we are going to learn about representing of fractions. So let's start with contents page. World and objectives. Representing fractions halves. Representing fractions quarters. Representing fractions eighths. And representing fractions word, symbol, shape, object or collection. Finding half in objects, finding a quarter in objects, finding one third in objects and practice. What is our world for today? I know how to represent fractions. So what about objectives? Learn the general information about fraction. Learn the basics of fraction and learn how to find fraction on objects. So, how we can represent fractions? There are different ways of showing or representing fractions. For example, by the helping of words, by the helping of symbols, shapes, objects or collections. So, let's see for the first part. The first part is half or halves. It is, as you know, written as words. What about the second part? It is the symbol, one and half. This is the symbol and we will learn about it later. So the third one is the shape. It is the circle and you can see half part is blue. And look at the third last uh, object part. It is an apple and you can see the half of the apple. And look at the collections. Do you remember how do we find the half of the collections? So we have two pairs and half of it is one pair. So we have six balls and half of them is three balls. Are you ready to learn about quarters? Let's start. So we can represent this one by the helping of words like quarter or quarters. So we can find it by the helping of symbols one and fours. One in the up and four and in the down part. So what about in the shapes? In the shapes, we can show just a quarter. It means just the smallest one-fourth part. And look at the object. It is very delicious pizza. And you can see it is divided by four parts. It is also called as quarter. And look at the collection. You can see all the collections are divided by four parts and each smaller part is called as quarter. So what is eights? Eights means to share something, object or the collection by eight people. So it can be represented by the words like eights and as the symbol like one and eight as the shape you can see this one in this circle and as the object for example the chocolate two parts it is the eights and look at the collections so nuts and the forks the two of the fork between all of them just two of them is eights so, if you don't understand and have some questions, please pause the video, move back and watch these parts again. As you know, we can represent fractions by the helping of words, symbols, shapes, objects or collections. So, let's start with collections. Can you see delicious donuts in the picture? So, what do they show? They show us one-eighth, 
because they are divided into eight pieces. And on the next part, you can see the shape. So it shows one force because just one part is blue, but out of four. And we can represent the fractions by the helping of words as well. For example, half. It's written by the letters. Then we can show this one. We can represent fractions by symbols as well. So one in the upper part and eight in the down part. It shows one eight. Now look at the object. We can see one pie and it shows half of the pie and hope you remember about symbols like one and fours and we can write again by words and by the helping of objects as well if you have any questions please pause this video and watch this part again now we will work on the symbols and shapes so what can you see in the picture? There are some of the shapes and we will work on with shaded and unshaded part. Let's start with the first part. How many parts can you see? Sure, we can see 10 slices, 10 parts. And could you please find how many parts are shaded? It's just three. So just three parts are green or colored. So we can write it like three and tens. What about unshaded part? I think it's very easy. There are just seven unshaded parts. So we can write it like seven and tens. Look at the second picture. So how many shaded parts can you see? Of course, there are six pink parts in this picture out of 10. So we can write it like six and tens. What about unshaded parts? Surely if we have six shaded parts, it means we will have four unshaded parts and we can write it like four tens. Let's learn about the last shape. How many shaded parts can you see? There are just nine purple color. It means we can write it like nine and tens. So what about unshaded part? This is just one and tens. So we can write it like one in the upper part and 10 in the down part. Thank you so much. So let's find half of objects. So to find half of a number of objects, you need to divide them by two. Let's count the number of cakes. There are eight cakes. Now, how can we divide them into two people? Let's see. As you know, there are eight cakes. Divide the cakes between the two children so that they have the same number each. The best way to do this is one for me, one for you. So we can find the answer very easily. And at the end of this sharing, we can see that each of the child has four cakes. It means that half of eight is four. Now let's find a quarter in objects. So you need to divide by four to find one quarter. Count the number of bones. How many bones can you see? There are eight bones in the picture. As you know, there are eight bones. Divide the bones between the four dogs so that they have the same number each. How many bones does each dog have? So let's see. As you know, we can find it like one for you, one for me, one for him and one for her. It is the best method to find our answer. So at the end, 
we can find that all the dogs have two bones. It means that a quarter of eight is two. Are you ready to find one third in objects? So let's start. Here are nine butterflies. They look very nice. Divide them between the three flowers so that the same number is on each flower. How many butterflies are on each flower? So let's count it one by one. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So it means we can see three butterflies on each flower and we can find that we can see that one third of nine is three now it's time to practice so we will practice on fractions of collections you will find is it true or false so quarter of the stars are red is it true or false? Half of the faces are happy. One eighth of the animals are pigs. Quarter of the birds are yellow. Please find your answers and check them. Let's practice one more time. Can you match each symbols with shapes? By the helping of the lines, you can check your answers. So if you have any questions, you can move back and watch about the rules of subtractions. Thank you. So let's practice for the last time. Now, can you please find the fractions, but don't forget, they are about shaded parts. So you need to match each symbol with each shape. So let's start. Now we can check our answers. So the first part is two thirds because out of three, just two parts are shaded. The next part is three fourths because out of four stars, just three parts are shaded. And the next one is two sixths because out of six parts, two moons are shaded. And the next one is four fifths. As you see, four parts are shaded and the last one is five nines because out of nine just five parts are shaded so thank you dear students today we have learned about the general information about fraction the basics of fraction and how to find fraction on objects so thank you for your kind attention bye bye